Hi, on this video, we're going to do the first of three videos that'll talk about protecting kids. You know, there are three legs to the stool of what NASCA is all about. The three legs are prevention, intervention, and recovery. And the three, the three legs all together are, are a big part of our mission. Well, prevention and intervention are the two things that we do that um, adult, they're adult activities, but they're for kids. And of course, recovery is our healing journey that we're all on, or many of us are on. Tonight, we're talking about teaching prevention. As I said, prevention is a adult activity. Children are born uh, blank slates. They don't have any idea what's going on and so forth. Uh, and it's up to us to teach them. Uh, frankly, there are a lot of parents who are reluctant to do this, unfortunately. And so one of the best places that we think this could be done and should be done are in the school systems because every child goes to school and we'd love for them to get age appropriate information starting in kindergarten and going up to uh, to high school. So, uh, you know, age appropriate meaning that you don't give them more information than they need at the point, but right away we have to teach them there are correct anatomical body part names. Uh, we have to teach them beyond stranger danger. We may have, to, may have to give them tools to not be picked up by the wrong person. So the person has to know a certain code rule, code word that the family has established and so forth. Um, there's a lot of information about prevention on the NASCA website. It's under the tool that's called Protecting Kids, oddly enough, and it's the first link. Prevention information there um, goes into the fact that uh, we, we want parents to understand that, first of all, if you, um, if, if you have a child, you should be able to uh, protect them. And, and we have actually even information from child molesters about what they look for and uh, plans to protect uh, and so forth. There are lots of things that we can do to prepare our kids, not only, by the way, in the real world, but also the cyber world, because it's just as important uh, that we protect them there. They're just as vulnerable there. They, again, don't have any idea about what the norms of life are, uh, what they should expect or not expect. In fact, we don't know oftentimes what they should expect and not expect. So um, the vast majority of children are, in, are assaulted by adults that they should be able to trust. Perhaps 60% of the sexually abused, conservatively speaking, uh, are one in four girls and one in six boys will suffer at the hands of a family member or an extended family member. Uh, a mom or dad, an older, older sibling, grandpa, Uncle Joe, mom's new boyfriend, and so forth. Another 30% will be abused by what I call caregivers. And those are teachers, ministers, coaches, and babysitters. And uh, adults that we expect to be trustworthy, and so does the child. The child um, expects, uh, it will often love, uh, honor, trust, and so forth, the adult who actually turns around and molests them. And they won't know what it is at first. A lot of children have no idea what sexual assault is. I froze when it first happened to me, and I had, I had been given absolutely no information about, well, I didn't even know the word sex, much less about molestation or sexual abuse or any of that. Um, and so if somebody wants to take naked little pictures of you, like they did for me, or uh, hand you over to somebody else, like they did for me, uh, you may feel uncomfortable about it, but you go along with it because the person that's doing it to you is someone you're supposed to trust. And you know, uh, at one point they said only 7% of children who are sexually abused are actually abused by what we call stranger danger. And of course we do teach children stranger danger, but 93% of the time uh, we're talking about uh, people they're supposed to know, love and trust. And then on the internet, going back to that for just a moment, um, we have to we have to make sure that kids know that they are malleable out there, that even we have been fooled and duped uh, on the internet, and that it's important for them to uh, understand there are certain rules of using the net. Now, as parents, we can set some of those rules, but I have to warn you, no matter what you do to keep, try and keep your, your children away from the net, they will find a way to get to the net because computers are all around us. In fact, it's very common for us to hand a, a child a phone at eight years old, a cell phone at eight years old, and guess what? That's a computer nowadays. There's more power in one of those small handheld phones today than they took to the moon when they did the moon landing in 1969. Literally more power than that, a lot more power than that. Um, so we also have to warn them that um, there's such a thing as cyberbullying online and regular bullying in school. So there's lots of topics for us. And the point is that prevention is an adult activity. We can't expect the child 
to come up with these concepts themselves. We have to learn them first, and then we have to teach them to our child. And if a parent is not willing to teach the child themselves, our recommendation is try to get the school system to put it into place, a curriculum from, from kindergarten through high school, where age appropriately, the children will get information as they need to, to move through. This is Bill Murray signing off for tonight. Tomorrow night, we're gonna do intervention, and the following night, we're gonna do recovery. So the three videos in line, the three uh, are going to, uh, are going to talk about those three, the, the, the legs, the three legs of the stool, if you will, of recovery, of, of, of what NASCA does. Uh, prevention, intervention, and recovery. This is Bill Murray signing off by saying, may God bless you and the children of the world, and God bless adult survivors of child abuse.